All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to today's last blog. Here to give you one more scout report on an offensive tackle headed towards the 2017 NFL Draft. This blog, I'm here to talk about Adam Biznawadi coming out of Pitt. Now, he actually was a two-year starter, first team, all, all ACC honors at left tackle for the last two seasons. I'm, I, let me repeat, that. let me rephrase that. He was a four-year starter, and he was consecutive first team, all, AC, all ACC honors at left tackle. Let me just correct that. Now, he actually has some credit that belongs to him due to the great success this past season for Pitt going 8-5 and five and having big wins over Clemson and Penn State, both those two teams were in the top 10 the, uh, during their games against Pitt. Now, this is a local product coming from um, Pittsburgh itself, and Ryan and, and Adam is a good, pretty good prospect to look at for this year's draft. Now, it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses. He does have good broad shoulders, long arms, and a higher cut frame at six foot six, 304 pounds. Now, um, Adam um, possesses impressive initial quickness off the snap for a man of his size and has sticky hands with which he latches on to opposing defenders controlling opponents um, going from side to side. Now while his build may suggest a finesse style of play, Adam is aggressive and um, can be physical in which his physicality certainly encounters that perception. Um, he plays with a, guard, um, a guard's mentality which is a good thing firing off the snap and supplying a power initial punch to jolt uh, uh, opponents. He does have good power and he actually has good um um, at, uh, at, at least adequate balance um, uh, to remain outside at tackle in the NFL. He has enough balance to be, become an offensive tackle. That's why I have him as an offensive tackle prospect, but he might switch off to guard. But I do see him more as offensive tackle. Now, while, while quick, quicker than he looks, he does pro uh, projects best as a right tackle, perhaps and even a guard, like I said, which is a little bit of a concern. I don't see him as a left tackle, but he could be at least a right tackle. Now, though he's mostly durable he did miss at least one game due to injury in three of his four seasons which is a little bit of concern so medical uh, treatment can be a little bit of a concern and he can tick and he could be a tick slow off of the snap and allows his pass to rise as he retreats in pass uh, protection which is a concern but I think he could be um, um, co coached a little bit more with that I think he could be um, a decent player at the next level and I see him as a third round pick I believe one team who could be looking at him is the New York Jets in the later rounds and the third round I don't see him as a fourth round pick I think he could possibly be a late second round pick but I see him more as a third round pick for this year's draft so that wraps things up for today the next I'm going to catch you guys I'm aiming for later on this week in which I will give you my top tight ends for this year's draft to give you scout reports on them Tech, uh, so I'm actually going to be aiming either Thursday or Friday but we will see if not I'm going to aim for the weekend okay Catch you guys then. Thank you for watching today's blogs. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.